hug for Monday, December the 2nd. And this week I'm going to look at, continue looking at expansion. I'm also going to look at higher learning because it feels like a good week to focus on what we really need to learn in order to allow us to expand. So that's what I'm asking now. And I feel like I've got to stop shuffling there. And the card I've got here is Lighten Up. I love that card. Right, so basically, so it's the card of white, the pure sort of white light energy. And we always see that energy as something that just comes from um, a very, well, it holds all of the colours, doesn't it? So it holds the entire spectrum. But when, as we see it, it actually appears to be a very pure light. And yet it's not just about purity. It's not just about keeping our energy clear and connecting with divinity. It's also about remembering that, that those divine qualities that we are seeking to embody, they do include lightness. So... Really, if we're talking about things, if we are hoping to aspire to higher levels of consciousness, if we are really hoping to be moving, making waves and changes in this energy on this planet at this time or in our lives, we have to be more aware of the fact that if we become really heavy or morose in our way of expressing ourselves in our way of going through life and even in the way that we share our ideas with others we are not necessarily embodying the highest frequency of light so we need to be able to laugh at ourselves more we need to be able to not take everything quite so seriously it just reminds me of that phrase angels can fly because they take themselves lightly I just want to remind us all to have a sense of humour today and to remember that even if you are imparting the greatest truths, if you're not doing it with a sense of fun or if you don't have that sense of lightness within your heart, that means that you could surrender this idea tomorrow and it wouldn't matter. You're not attached to a dogma or to forcing anyone else to believe what you believe or uh, having the upper hand or being the person who says it in the best way. If, if we're attached to any of those things, we are not in the lightest place. We have sacrificed the life for another form of attachment. So lighten up is the first message for Monday in terms of expanding. How can we expand our consciousness? How can we expand our awareness? We need to have more fun. We need to get out more. Some of us are taking life much too seriously. So I'm gonna also ask, how can we begin to lighten up? What can we do that will help us to gain a better perspective, a lighter perspective, a more sparkly and enlightened perspective? And I've got the ocean. So if you are able to get to the ocean, if you are anywhere near it, what this card is telling me is that a lot of us are carrying a lot of energy around that we don't need to be carrying. So we've picked up a lot of the heavy vibration that the planet has been clearing, that we have been helping the planet to clear, that we have been helping each other to clear. And we need to make sure that our energy is, that we, that we just get rid of that stuff. So if you can get to the ocean, it can be a really powerful, way to just release some of that energy and you can do it by meditating on the sparkles of the ocean and aligning with their consciousness or you can do it by getting in and allowing all of that lovely natural salt to to cleanse your energy field or you can do it by meditating on the ocean and asking it to release to relieve you of your burdens of that lower energy and asking the angels to transmute it to the highest frequency so that it doesn't become another load of heaviness somewhere else and asking the ocean to also uh, transmute it and elevate it to the highest level of consciousness. If you can't get near the ocean, then I would say this is gonna be a great day to remember everything else that we do that helps us to clear in terms of how we use water. So that might be salt baths, that might be again remembering to energize our water, it might be showering with the consciousness of intending that the water becomes a blessing, that it becomes filled with divine light, divine energy as it washes over us. So it's a really great day to use the consciousness of water to lighten us up again and to go out and have some fun. 
So that's it for today, everyone. Have a great Monday and I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And um, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for commenting. I appreciate all of it so much. And please share these videos and help me to spread these messages. And I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>